when I ask for you all to pray for me, you have to know that it is for a reason. I don't ask for it in a very religious, casual way. Please pray for me. When I ask for prayer, I mean it in a very serious way. For instance, maybe a day ago, this guy emailed me telling me that this guy was an ex-witch, was really deep in it very sad story anyways this guy was asking for my help asking for my advice so of course i am going to help whatever so while i was composing an email back to him all of a sudden, I guess within minutes of writing my email to him, all of a sudden, I see something move very quickly to my left. And within seconds, I believe, I saw a flash of light. Listen, my light is on. So, I can tell if my light goes off and on. <laughs> there was another light source in my room. <laughs> Whatever moved that quickly, I believe it was attempting to kill me. You know, sometimes I see things move around every so often, and I can tell that it is trying to put me in fear or intimidation and stuff like that. But when I saw that thing move very quickly, I can tell that thing was trying to attack me. No intimidation was trying to attack me. <laughs> that thing was not playing around. But what came to me, <laughs> What came to me is that I believe that demon or whatever it was is associated with that guy. So that demon don't want me to help out that guy, which is understandable. I can understand that. Because if a demon has a person in bondage, of course, that demon don't want that person to be set free. I understand that. So my angels, I believe, were there to protect me, as usual. Thank God. <laughs> my lord now as one person one person can do good yes but I need help imagine if we all came as one and backed each other up imagine that Imagine the impact of all of our prayers, all of our will, joining in as one, together. It would have such a large impact. 
I don't mind teaching people. I don't mind giving people advice about God. I don't mind it, but you have to understand if I am helping you and it is changing you, you have to understand that <laughs> your demons or demons are not going to like it. So what do you believe that they may do? Whatever happened that day was really serious. Like, I don't think I have seen something like that for a while. Like, that that thing was really trying to kill me, man. I believe. Like, I could sense it. <laughs> Let me say something else. And I am not saying this to make you afraid or anything like that. I am telling you this so you can really understand why I am saying what I am saying to you to pray for me. I made a video. I forget exactly what it was about. I believe through God, I am able to help people out with these videos. And I believe through God, my videos are doing really well. Yes, I may not get many views, whatever, but my videos are helping people. I forget which video I made or did I contact someone? I don't know. I went to sleep or whatever you may call it. That experience that I had very demonic. <laughs> that was, I would have to say, that was something new. Coming to think about it, I believe I am experiencing <laughs> new things <laughs> more and more. I know I make it sound funny, but <laughs> no, not really funny. But I have to take it in that way. Why not? I am not going to be angry about it or sad about it. But that was really serious. Where I had to, because I could not sleep, I had to get down on my knees and pray for quite a while for maybe an hour in 20 minutes and my room became peaceful again. Like I could not sense whatever that thing was. But what that thing, <laughs> I know that what I may say may sound unbelievable or it may sound like it makes no sense. When you are helping people, when you are obeying God, when you are praying for people and helping them out so much where it is changing their lives, it is like you are attacking the kingdom of hell. And if you attack anything, <laughs> why do you believe that they aren't going to attack back? But we have angels here for us. Still, we still need to back each other up. Even though we have angels and stuff like that, we still need to pray for each other. We still need to do that. Look.
we are really in war. Not in this earthly sense, but in a spiritual sense. We are at war. People take this very casually, which I do sometimes as well, but this is really serious. I am telling you, if you believe that I am just making things up or if you believe that I am insane, okay, serve God with all your heart, stay out of sin and help people and see what happens to you. And see what happens to you. I have to stay in prayer. I have to. I have no choice. If I was to miss a day or two of prayer, no, it would not be good. So I have really no other choice but to excel higher. When you see stuff like that, it makes you much more not want to sin. Because when you see, my Lord, when you see stuff like that, you see that this is not a game. Even if some demons try to tempt me in something, my mind goes back to the stuff I have seen and experienced. No. When you sin, you are opening yourself up to those things, man. Listen, I am trying to help people I am trying to bring more people to God. Of course, it is God that draws people to himself, but I want to plant seeds. I want to help people. You know, I try to pass out Bibles to people for free. I try to mail documents about God that I have written to people for free. I want to feed people. I want to give more clothes to people. I want to do much more for people. This is what I want to do. We need to join together as one and help each other. Stop thinking about these carnal, silly things about your fashion and about buying a new home and a new car. Skip that stuff, man. Think about people. Think about others. My Lord. I need your help. I really do need your help. But it seems like many people head is it's like they are in fairy land or some type of fairy tale or something like that your focus is off so please help god bless you